definitely a devastating day. A lot of people here in the community say this is one of the few sit down restaurants where people can actually come and enjoy a meal. And now the state fire marshal has been called in to help investigate the cause of this fire. It's sad because it was very enjoyable. It was a nice place to go to. Um, we like, you know, it's real food there. It wasn't greasy fast food. Here's what's left of a building more than a century old, reduced to rubble. Kenton's popular 101 Smokehouse restaurant destroyed after an early morning fire on Wednesday. The good news, no one was injured. Multiple agencies called to help contain the fire. Thanks to uh, all of our mutual aid departments for coming in. Definitely couldn't have done it without them. Um, given the fact that these buildings are over 100 years old. The cause of the fire unknown at this time. Brian McGrath lives and works next to the popular restaurant for more than seven decades. He says he woke up to someone banging on his door telling him to get out. All I had on was my shorts and the building next door was on fire. McGrath's home and business suffered some damage. His daughter, April Richards, thankful he wasn't hurt. I flew up here. He was already outside, thank God, but I was just watching all the flames and just hoping and praying that they didn't continue going this way. The restaurant is now a total loss. 101 Smokehouse had only been in this 100 year old building for a little more than a year. Restaurant owners posting to their Facebook page shortly after the fire. They say due to the extensive fire damage we endured last night, we will be closed indefinitely. Now the cleanup effort begins. The community hopeful they can sit down and enjoy a hot meal. They maybe they might have to find a new little spot and hopefully they'll be back before we know it. On your side in Kenton, I'm Jeremiah Wilcox, ABC 6 News.